fun's all around. Here we go. Game four between Whistler and Karate. This is the reality to find winner's tournament. Uh, third, fourth place match. Thank you to uh, Team Reality Defined for organizing slash sponsoring this event. Um, thanks to Remelia for throwing in an extra $100 into the prize pool, raising it to a total of $300 in the prize pool. $175 for uh, first, $75 for second, and $50 for third place. That is what these two players are playing for right now. I hope white and yellow is okay. Um, actually, maybe I'll just change it. Yeah. Just for my own sake. Uh, the elbow will scout in the wrong direction, but uh, I think it's standard to go clockwise anyway. Uh, so yeah, full on, full on. Actually, I was thinking about whether to calendar this, and I, I'm, in my opinion, in my opinion, it is, it is better to not be calendared as a brood war event because then it's like people can't really tell it's brood war, and there's a million SE2 events. But you know, if you're just a featured stream, it's just like stream, brood war. It's I don't know, I think it's better. Uh, that could just be me. Uh, and Karate is going to go for a Wallen. And looks like the drone will scout in the middle of the map. Is he going to do a cross map scout? Looks like he will. So he will in fact scout Karate last. Uh, but I don't think that's too much, too big of a deal. Um, Karate's not doing anything crazy. I wonder if he'll 14 CC. That would be funny. No, it looks like he's not going to. Nope. Just going to... He's going to build a barracks. He's going to build a barracks. Uh, Whistler looks like he will 12 hatch. Uh, that's that's mm, to be expected. Um, if you've never seen Coliseum before, your natural expansion is actually inside your main base. So like this is the entrance to your base, and then like your natural's inside it. So it's like super easy to defend. Although there's like this high ground outside your natural, or rather outside your main, or outside your choke. That uh, that can get quite annoying if like the Terran gets a good position up there. So Karate will wall off and go for his gas. Um, didn't see that coming, but oh, Whistler gonna go for the offensive creep colony, go for the sunken rush. This has to be a fake, uh, because Karate's actually not scouted him yet. Yeah, look at how many SCVs are pulling off, and he's just gonna cancel that, and he's gonna be like, oh wait, no, he's not gonna cancel it. What's? Okay, never mind. He's gonna let it finish. Uh, he should have canceled it, in which case all these SCVs would be pulled off for nothing. But uh, actually, a very popular strategy on this map in ZVT is to go for a 9-pool Sunken Rush. So if the Terran walls, as uh, most of them actually do on this map, you have Lings out, and then you're building a Sunken, and he can't attack the Sunken with SEVs because you have Lings there. And then like the Sunken finishes, and even if he like builds a bunker in his main minerals, he's going to lose his entire wall, and he's going to have to lift the barracks and float it all the way back. So it's like a super effective strategy. Um, I think in one recent game, we actually saw uh, some... like. Uh, like uh, a fairly popular counter then is for the Terran to actually send out uh, an early SCV to just kill this uh, this neutral sunken colony. Although Karate opted not to do that here, I'm 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 wondering still whether that was worth it. Uh, Wisto lost his lost a creep colony, so that's um, 50 minerals for the drone plus the 75 for the creep, so that's 125 minerals. And Karate pulled something like uh, seven SCVs to deal with it uh, for uh, for a little while. So I'm I don't know. That seems fairly even to me. I can't really say one player or another got got an advantage from that. Meanwhile, Blister's going for this two hatch stuff again, and uh, there is a creep colony though, so a vulture should not really be uh, be effective at all here. Um, although Karate will most likely get one anyway, uh, just to get some some bit of early map control, clear some links. Uh, oh, that's a good point, my probe. He did actually force Karate to cancel his supply depot as well, so that gives him. Uh, that gave Whistler a little bit of a of a edge, a little bit of an edge. Is that what I'm trying to say? Anyway, the expansion is going out for Karate, as he did pull guys off gas. Uh, now that he's made the command center, though, he should put the guys back on. Um, maybe he has a timing that I don't know about. Somehow this SCV got into the base. Or was this? Has this been here the whole time? Is this like the same scouting SCV? Because if so, this is like a this is like a Bisu SCV. Man, Karate's just like he's like Bisu and Reach combined when he plays Terran. This is this is pretty crazy. Man, the girls must go crazy over him. Anyway, c could you imagine Beast, uh, Bisu and Reach combined? I almost said Beast. That, that's not what I was trying to say. Bisu and Reach combined. How the ladies would go wild. 
And there goes the SCP. It does see the Spire though. I think, uh. Oh! Wait, was that a drone? That's drone blood. I don't know why there was a drone there. Was he trying to make another sunken? Anyway! Um. Now I completely forgot. From my train of thought. Oh! Cardi, I think, has scouted the uh, the two hatch muta every game so far. Maybe, or maybe he didn't one of the games. I can't remember, but but yeah. So he's seen it coming, and he has still died to that. Um, so that's that's a little unfortunate. Oh, he didn't scout it last game, I guess. He saw it both games before that, something like that. Anyway, uh, he does have his engineering bay uh, about halfway done, so he should have. Oh yeah, he'll have his turrets out in plenty of time uh, this time. I think he's playing a little bit safer since he did go for the expansion. And going for the regular uh, two-fact shenanigans. I'd like him to start researching plus one soon. I mean, he got the armory, so might as well. And, oh, Vulture being mega annoying here. Uh, just going to range this hatchery. I mean, Vultures do five damage per shot against buildings due to the uh, damage types. So that's not really going to do anything, but uh, it is just annoying. And there are six mutas. Well, no, it looks like five. Uh, does he have not have enough money? Oh, he didn't take a second guess. Wow, is that a mistake? Did Glister actually make a mistake there? He should have, he should have had that second gas before the uh, the spire was finished. Oh man, I'm I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. Unless mm, he lost too many minerals from the the creep, the sunken rush. Ugh, ugh that's hmm, that's a little bit funny. Uh, although he will have five mutas anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. It's just be short one muta. Although that might uh, come into play later on as well. And how many turrets do we have? One in the natural. Interesting, one here at the, the top of the ramp. And a couple going down here in the main. Yeah, Karate should be fine this time. So uh, we might actually see a longer game this time. Unless Karate goes for some kind of crazy push. Uh, or like they like he did in the first game. Although I shouldn't say it was crazy. It was like a normal push. And then Whistler turned it into a, a base race almost uh, with a counterattack. So, uh, so that's, that's kind of Whistler's fault right there. I shouldn't say fault. But he initiated that. And there's a third base going out for Whistler. But I think um, I think Karate is actually way stronger economically. He's got his two bases up. It looks like his SCV saturation is uh, is decent this time. Although he could still use a few more at the natural. And Whistler's still on two base. Only one guy on his natural gas. I don't... Oh. Okay, it looks like he actually pulled guys from gas? Pulled guys from his main gas. Only has one on his natural. So... I'm tempted to say that at least one of those moves was on purpose. Um, looks like Karate only has one on gas too. For some reason, nobody likes mining gas. Gas? Gas is good, guys. You should get gas. It's an energy source. I don't know if it's eco-friendly, though. Um, I mean, it is green, so it's probably, like, recyclable. Do you guys think Vespian gas is recyclable? Actually, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. How can gas be recyclable? Okay, never mind, I'm an idiot. But, I mean, it is green, so you can give me that. I'm sick, guys. I'm sick. What are you gonna do? You can't. You can't ask anything more. I keep thinking this is one of Karate's units, but it's not. It's an interesting place to rally. Um, third base is almost done. Looks like he's gonna set up for a relatively quick fourth, which uh, is, of course, quite quite good, quite standard against Mech. Uh, of course, because the Meching player takes a while to build up his army, so uh, you have a fair bit of time to get your uh, eco up, get your macro going uh, before the Terran pushes out. So, uh, Starport getting a control tower. Uh, is he making a Cyphac? No, it looks like he's just gonna make some dropships from that. If he makes a Valkyrie, I will be. Well, actually, that's probably bad because uh, Whistler's actually not making any more air. Interesting that Whistler decides to go for this pure Hydra style against Mech. I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, because as we saw in game one, if the Terran player sniffs that out and just goes for an extra couple of siege tanks, it is quite hard to deal with. Uh, and of course the mutas are, are much are very useful in the late game as well for uh, being super mobile and scouting around and uh, generally just being pain in the butt. A pain in the butt? I don't know. I messed up my grammar there. Anyway. The fourth base is down. Is this going to get scouted? I think it will get scouted by this SCV. Although random hydras... I like this. I like this because uh, Karate at this point could very well be running around the map with vultures to try and snipe the drones as they transfer. Uh, or just snipe drones before they can make hatcheries. So uh, Whistler is sending, like, look at this. If if Karate was sending out vultures, he's probably send them down uh, this way and then go to the bottom left. So this is a perfect intercept location. I, I like that very much. Um, so I'm gonna keep these these two dronies alive. Um, how many factories do we have going up? Wow, it looks like going for a relatively quick second armory. 
uh, and a science facility. So actually, I would I would say that Karate's really playing for a long game here. He, and and he did in fact get a Valkyrie. Uh, so he only has four factories. He's only going up to this fourth factory and getting a Valkyrie. So I would imagine he's going to go for his third base as well. I mean, there's no point go getting the, uh, the double upgrades if you're just going to do like a huge mid-game push, unless he's going for some kind of two-one push. But even then, you need a uh, you, you're going to have uh, a fair bit, a fair bit of food in units. Excuse me for one second. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, uh, is that? No, it's not a lurker egg. Ba -ba -ba, what do we have? Oh, by the way, look, look at all these uh, overlords along the top. Can you can you see that on the mini map? That is like perfect spotting for a, a dropship. That's like the exact path a dropship might take. So, so Whistler will see a dropship coming from a mile away. Um. So yeah, there is the third command center. That's an interesting place to put it. I mean, this is the the natural third. Uh, so I would imagine he put the command center like here, unless he's gonna go for the three o'clock base. But that's like way far away. Uh, no, look, he is he is taking this small base. Um, oh, oh, oh Wes is not paying attention. Gonna lose one muta. It's not as bad as I thought. He did get plus one air carrier base. Is he actually gonna make more mutas? He has to, there's no point getting plus one carapace if you only get one control group. Why is Whistler going in here? That is not a good idea. Whoa, Whistler. Whistler, dude. Dude, this is... You're a Zerg, man. You can't play like Reach. That doesn't work. Your units aren't manly, I'm, I'm sorry, but they're not. Uh, wow, look at this. Karate actually went for plus one armor before weapons on his mech. That is... That is very interesting. I'm... I'm not sure what to say about that. Um, you almost always see plus one. Although, although, on that infamous game between Flash and Zero on uh, on Benzene, I think it was. Yeah, it was on Benzene where like Flash turtled up and it looked like Zero was losing, and then he made like twenty million, twenty queens, and and just killed him with breathing. That game. I hope someone knows what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure uh, Flash went for plus one armor on his mech in that game as well. So uh, there, there's probably some reasoning to it, although I can't say for sure. Uh, I, I mean, I guess Mech already has a base one armor, so it stacks quite nicely, um, especially against the the lower damage and higher uh, higher attack rate of the Hydras. I guess. I guess. I mean, it also helps against Muta Splash, uh, Muta Bounce, obviously. And it looks like Whistler going to the back of the natural. There's only two turns, but three Valkyries coming in. Uh, Whistler, he does have plus one carapace for his air, but those Valkyrie missiles are going to do some. Uh, well, only going to do a little bit of damage, but definitely going to scare those away. So I'm I'm wondering is. Did this could actually be some? I mean, these guys could be metagaming each other. By the way, the fifth base going down in the bottom left. Uh, Karate. I mean, Whistler could be saying, "Okay, in game one, I made only Hydras, and Karate made like a ton of tanks and killed me. So this game, I'm gonna try and make some Mutas uh, to you know to catch him off guard if he has too many tanks. But then Karate's like, "All right, Whistler's gonna be thinking that, so I'm gonna make some Valkyries and and kill all his Mutas. So this, these guys could either be metagaming each other hardcore." Or I could be completely wrong and like Karate just wanted to make some Valkyries. Either way, he made Valkyries, so that's that's nice. Um, we have a Queen's Nest. Almost done actually. I wonder if he's gonna go for straight for hive or if he's actually gonna make queens. That would be quite sweet. I was gonna say quite sexy, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. 